Today's video is sponsored by Ridge Wallet. Ridge Wallet is the next new wave of wallets. The sleek, the modern, and the minimalistic design is what millions are talking about. Over 30,000 five-star reviews and Honestly, I have been rocking this sweet tiki one here for the summer. They also have some other cool designs, which I'm also in love with. The forged carbon. This is the money clip. It holds your money. It keeps everything just so much better than that old 90s style wallet that your dad is probably rocking. And talking about dad's father days is coming up. This is going to be an awesome present. And I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys, as well as if you want 10% off your next order, use this coupon code down below. Thank you so much, Ridge Wallet, for sponsoring this video. Let's get on with the show. What is good ladies and gents today we're going to be doing the first first ride i've already rid i've rid <laughs> i've already driven this car i would say about 500 miles already from la to san diego and then all around san diego i've been driving this making you guys content and i want to do a little new video series specifically with beverly which is basically entails cruising uh, that's one of the things that this car is really known for what I really want to go ahead and get into, and I just want to cruise with you guys. So this is gonna be episode one of our cruise series, but I'm going to be doing the first drive here with you guys. Show you guys how the car drives, and uh, we'll go to special places. Today, we are going to OB, Ocean Beach here in San Diego. But first, I need to wash the car, and then I need to gas up, probably gas up and then wash the car. And then we'll go to Ocean Beach. Maybe we'll hit up Mission Beach. And then we'll call it a day. That'll be our cruise in San Diego. And in the future episodes, we'll probably do, uh, we'll do Pacific Beach. We'll do Sunset Cliffs. We'll do Imperial Beach. We'll do some inland. We may do Vegas. We may do Huntington Beach for sure. Huntington Beach actually. And uh, we'll just cruise. And that'll be our new TV series, new YouTube series with Beverly. It's just cruising along. We'll try making an entertainment a more of a vlog style. So let's get right into it right away. Here is the cluster, or my point of view. Um, steering right away, very, very loose. So the tires are not moving right now. And as you guys can see, it has lots and lots of play. Uh, speedometer works fine. Fuel gauge is not accurate. It does work, but it's not accurate. Alternator works great. I believe that's the time. Doesn't have any time there. Temperature works fine. We have the windshield wipers right here. We have the oil pressure right here, which works. We have heater, temperature, uh, defroster, temperature right here. And then as down below, we have the fog lamps, which aren't hooked up. We have the choke, which I may have to choke the car or unchoke it um, in order to start it. And then the lights and then down below we just have the gas and the brakes power steering power brakes the horn works i guess it just doesn't want to work once when the car is off i think it has to be on and i have my beats pill as a speaker because the speaker that came on here just does not work well we have the automatic shifter and uh basically let's do a little cold start and uh let's see how well she did so i'm not going to choke it um this is basically well, the new owner said that i would have to pull this out in order to start it we'll give it one throttle because these carburetors uh, definitely need a little bit of gas when it first starts up so this will be a first true cold start let's see how it goes so it usually always does that i could maybe do two more pumps we'll try that out that did the trick so let's go behind now let's go outside of Beverly get the exhaust I know you guys like the pull starts let's just see how she rumbles she's very very dirty and going to wash her at my college area san diego state university where i always used to self car wash i brought my own microfiber towels as well but first things first we got to get her clean we're here at the gas station which i'm pretty much here every day I don't really want to risk uh, running out of gas since that fuel gauge doesn't work. I try being as careful as I possibly can. 
So you guys are gonna see, yeah, see, it already spills gas there, that's the one thing. You guys have any tips? Let me try, actually, putting this here. Only $17, not too bad, but I pretty much put about $20 every single day. I probably spent around like $80 to $100 just on gas ever since I got this. This thing is definitely a gas guzzler. Now I gotta clean up the fuel that I spilled, which I'm not a big fan of. Uh, it's just so cringy watching all this gas just flow all over the paint. I'm definitely gonna get this fixed so I could fill up inside the trunk rather than this place right here. And on goes the gas cap. Now we're ready to start the day. All uh, right, we are here at my Otter Ma, is that, what, is that what it is called? Your, uh, where you graduated from college? San Diego State University. I used to live in one of these houses, not this one, but more down the street. It was all connected. And a lot of great memories here with Sally. I made all of my videos with Sally. I never took Miley here. But now Beverly gets to have the chance. We are finally here where I used to always wash Sally. Beverly's gonna get her first wash done right now. We're gonna get a nice little rinse first. And we're gonna get soap. I believe we have three minutes to do this. And we're gonna wipe it down. And we're gonna do a spot free rinse. No using the brush. Looking at the paint though, it's not too bad at all. I'm definitely gonna do a paint correction. There are some scratches, like right here. I don't, as you guys can see, I need to fix all the scratches, do a paint correction, oh, a couple more scratches here, and then do a ceramic to seal it off. So that's the current paint condition. It's not too bad. It's pretty good actually. And uh, she's looking a lot good. Let me just go ahead and finish drying her. Just wanted to show you guys that there are some leaks inside of it, but she looks a whole lot better. Nice, yeah, I appreciate it. The one thing with black cars is that it gets dirty within the first hour or so. So that's the one thing about black cars, but there's just no other car that I would like to get besides black. Black just goes so nice, especially with these Mustangs. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and then we'll head straight to the beach. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments because a lot of you guys do comment down below. What do I do for a living? Where did I get the money for these cars and such? I went to San Diego State University. I graduated with business management and a specialization in entrepreneurship. I then got a job at Apple my senior year to which I continued with Apple after graduation. I worked for Google, I advertised for Google. I also invest in the stock market and uh, that's where I'm currently am. That's what I currently do. While I was in college, I was a waiter for a retirement facility that catered to very, very wealthy people. I used to make about 80 to $120 in tips every single work shift. And all of my tips I would put towards the car. So I highly recommend for anybody that's just starting out, get a job that involves tips. And uh, like waiter, valet, uh, anything that just involves tips and use those tips to fund your car or any of your hobbies. So that's just a little, a little helpful tip of my journey and uh, to let you guys know because I already know the comments are coming. But uh, now that we're done with that, let's go to Mission Beach or Sunset Cliffs, one of those two. They're pretty much connected. Probably my favorite beach here in San Diego, and uh, I gotta, I gotta just pull up to this Ferrari F430. 
This is my dream setup right here, the Ferrari and the Fastback. I'm going to sell Miley soon and I really want to go ahead and get this Ferrari. It's so beautiful all around. Yeah, the Ferrari F430 is my favorite Ferrari, minus the Ferrari Enzo. And golly, this thing is gorgeous. The rear end is what gets me on these things. The rear end is, that's a Ferrari right there. So gorgeous. Two of the best rear ends right here. I got the 68 Fastback and that Ferrari F430, baby. All right, guys, now let's get into the actual POV of driving. Right away, let me tell you that I've been driving this for about 500 miles and I love the way it drives. There are a lot of imperfections, there are a lot of improvements that we could go ahead and do, but this car is very much daily drivable. It does have power steering, it does have power brakes, it does have the windshield wipers do work, and I am rocking the automatic, which is really, really nice. We're gonna get more into details with uh, Wayne tomorrow. I don't know entirely sure when I'm recording this and when I'm gonna re be releasing it, but I'm gonna be going to Wayne's shop uh we're going to talk about transmissions we're going to talk about engines we're going to talk about everything that needs to be done for the future of this car this car is overall really really good i do want to go ahead and say that the steering is pretty loose as you guys see the car is going straight but i'm moving the steering wheel which is not the safest thing i definitely want to stiffen up the the suspension and the steering of this the power steering is still very very good previously with betty i did not have power steering but uh, with Beverly, it's definitely a plus that I'm super happy to go about. Also, another thing with power steering, I heard that long tube headers don't really go with power steering, so we're gonna have to see exactly what we have here because the exhaust system, which is still unknown, I think it's Flowmaster or Magnaflow with stock headers and an X-pipe. It sounds great, but uh, I really wanna go ahead and put some pipes performance long tube headers like we did on Betty. It sounds very, very good. Driving this thing is really nice. The power brakes are great. We have disc brakes up in the front. They're a little bit mushy. Uh, I definitely need to probably either break, uh, bleed them or put some new pads in, but uh, it stops pretty well. Uh, it's pretty sketchy. I haven't gone further than 70 miles per hour. Uh, just because on the road, this car is not something that you want to go fast in. And knowing me, I'm probably going to end up doing something big to this car. Like either Coyote Swap, GT500 stop, Swap, 428 Swap, 429 Swap, LS Swap. We're going to get into the swaps tomorrow when I speak with Wayne. But uh, yeah, right away, I definitely need to get the foundation, which is going to be steering, suspension, and brakes. Once when I get that down as well as maybe uh, reinforce the frame. Uh, then we'll go into, you know, supporting the motor because we we, we need to do the supporting mods before we do anything else because I would hate to get all that power and not be able to use it because of little things like steering, transmission, uh, suspension springs, shocks, and all that good stuff. So it, uh, it drives really, really nice. Uh, I would say that I need to look underneath the car to see the condition of it. It's a, it's a great car overall though. We're currently in Ocean Beach right now. We're going to Sunset Cliffs. Whoa, almost got in a little crash. And um, we're gonna cruise down Sunset Cliffs. Uh, everything is closed right now. I heard that they are gonna open up to, uh, next week. So we're gonna do some more fun things with this little segment of cruising along. But yeah, this is a very nice scenery. I just wanted to go ahead and drive through here. Yeah, it works great, honk. The horn actually does work, watch. I don't know if you heard that, but it does work. The car actually has to be on for the horn to work. We have the automatic transmission. Overall, this is a great, great drive. It took me a little while to get used to this car driving from LA to San Diego. I'm not going to lie. I was pretty nervous, pretty scared. I just coasted it down 60 miles per hour and I actually did very, very good. And uh, I can't have no, I mean, I don't have any complaints. I want to go deep down into this car, see what is underneath it, what needs fixing. And tomorrow we're going to do that. Uh, we'll see what's going on. But this thing drives really, really nice. Another thing that I like to do is roll down the windows and just coast out here like this. Or you can just put your hand on here. It's very comfortable. The seats are very, very comfortable as well. Just cruise along and enjoy the ride and the sound and the cruise along. Listen to her purr.
it does shake. I don't think there is a cam in it. It does sound like it, it has a baby cam into it, but we'll definitely need to fix that first. Maybe get a nice choppy cam, because that's one thing I really, really want to do to this car is get the muscle car sound out of it. Right now, it's pretty nice. I like the sound of it. I like the setup. I like what they did to it, but it could definitely need improvement when it comes to exhaust. What's your favorite thing to eat here at In-N-Out? What a better way to end the day here. I know I know. I just fast forward from the day to nighttime right now. But what a perfect ending to first drive video then to end it here with some In-N-Out. Probably my favorite fast food cheeseburger place here in California. You can never go wrong with In-N-Out. It's probably one of the best places to go to. I got a specialty order. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I personally ordered here. And... Uh, then we'll go ahead and sign off with a nice drive home. And this is what I get here. This is, which one's mine? This one's mine. I get the double double with grilled whole onions, chopped chilies. And then we have a cheeseburger with grilled onions, animal style fries, and just normal fries. This is where the money is at. You could never go wrong with this combo. It's just, just such a great combo.